Hi all, welcome back to the channel and our traveling adventures. In this video, we once again visit Palm Beach County, Florida, where we kayak to a 79-acre Spoil Island, which was once a blast shelter for a former U.S. president during the Cold War. Join us as we paddle over to Peanut Island and snorkel in the translucent blue water and around its artificial reefs. <music> If you plan to visit Peanut Island, the best place to launch your kayak is Phil Foster Park. The park is a short 10 minute paddle to the island. The park features two boat ramps and can get really busy on the weekends. Parking with a trailer is $10. Peanut Island is one of our favorite places to visit and we were looking forward to sharing the experience with our friends from out of town. We couldn't wait for them to witness the tropical fish that could be found around the artificial reefs or the iguanas that roam around the island and sun themselves on the rocks. We were also curious to see if there had been any work done around the secret Kennedy bunker, which we heard had plans of reopening after the restoration project that was underway. Peanut Island is a 79 acre Spoiler Island located at the mouth of Lake Worth Inlet in Palm Beach County, Florida. The island was created by dredging related projects in 1918. These dredging projects also created the Lake Worth Inlet and the port of Palm Beach. Originally, the island was named Inlet Island. However, the island was renamed Peanut Island for a planned peanut oil shipping operation, which failed in 1946. In 1961, during President John F. Kennedy's time in office, a 1,500 square foot nuclear fallout shelter was built on the island to protect 30 of Kennedy's family and key staff members for up to a month, should it have been needed. Furnishings in the structure included 15 sets of bunk beds, a desk for the president, and a conference table. There were also military K rations, barrels of water, and radiation detection kits. The bunker was constructed quickly and secretly during the run of the Cuban Missile Crisis. Hidden in the woods and underground, it fell into disrepair until restored by a museum in 1999. Doors of the bomb shelter closed indefinitely October 2017. However, there are new plans to renovate it and reopen it to the public. Paddling to the island, you'll have many boats to navigate around. Peanut Island is a popular place to visit for locals and is one of Florida's best kept secret destinations. On the east side of the island, you'll see piles of rocks, which act as an artificial reef and is a popular snorkeling area. The tides will have a strong effect on Peanut Island's snorkeling conditions and water clarity. The water in the Lake Worth Inlet is most of the time blue and clear, but its best conditions are during high tide. After arriving to the island, it was time to don our snorkeling gear and introduce our friends to the many tropical fish that call the artificial reefs their home. We were also hoping that we would find some extra special creatures as well, and we were pleasantly presented some yellow spotted stingrays, although they were harder to spot as they swam along the bottom of the water.
After a little time in the water visiting the many tropical fish and seeing a few yellow-tailed spotted stingrays, it was time to warm up and go for a walk around the park on its one and a quarter mile paved trail and hopefully see an iguana. Since being introduced to Florida in the 1960s as part of the exotic pet trade, iguanas originally from Central and South America have become an established population in Florida and on Pena Island. Oh, this is pretty. Hello. Hello. This one's huge. Oh, yeah, that's ours. We had to come back to his kayak. So they built a fence since we were here last. It was good to see the addition of the fence. It gave me hope that the repairs to the Kennedy Bunker and the Coast Guard Station were underway, although it'll still be a few years before we can see the completed restoration process. It's something that we will definitely be back to see.
Our friends were quite happy with the day, and we had a great time sharing the adventure with them. Hope you enjoyed this video, and if you're ever in Palm Beach County, I highly recommend adding Peanut Island to your itinerary. You won't be disappointed.